Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to talk about different kinds of circuit elements, and in particular, the passive and active circuit elements. So what is the difference between passive and active circuit elements? The passive circuit elements are things such as resistors, capacitors, inductors. They do not produce any current, they do not produce any voltage, they are not capable of producing any energy or inputting energy into the system or into the circuit. In opposition to that, we have active elements such as generators, batteries, and operational amplifiers. They are capable of putting energy into the system or into the circuit. Generators can produce a voltage or a current, so can batteries, so can operational amplifiers. When we have a voltage source or a current source that is independent of anything else, we call them independent sources or voltage sources or current sources. If we have uh, sources that are dependent upon other sources to put in a certain amount of current or to apply a certain amount of voltage, we call them dependent sources. All of them, of course, are active sources. Ideal independent sources can produce an ideal voltage or an ideal current independent of anything else in the circuit. They can produce or they can provide as much current as the circuit can possibly draw independent of how much current the circuit will draw. No matter how much it draws, they can produce all of it and yet provide the potential difference across the circuit. It will not drop. Some sources, when you start drawing too much current, the voltage across the terminals begins to draw down or begins to decrease, and so therefore it's not a consistent or a totally independent source. So there are some differences there. An ideal dependent source can still produce sufficient amount of current or sufficient amount of voltage, but it depends on that through some other source. It must get that energy or it must be controlled through some other active element producing that energy so they can maintain the current or maintain the potential difference. There's four different kinds of those. We call them either the VCVS, the CCVS, the VCCS, or the CCCS. What that stands for, V stands for voltage and C stands for current, So we, or I should say um, v stands for voltage and C stands for controlled. So we have voltage controlled voltage source, we have current controlled voltage source, we have voltage controlled current source, and we have current controlled current source. So that's how we read those four acronyms. In other words, we can have a voltage source get, that can either be controlled by some other current or some other voltage, or we can have a current source that can be controlled by some other voltage or some other current. The symbolism is important here. If it's a completely in independent source, then we draw a little circle around it. A battery can be assumed to be somewhat of an independent source, and though therefore it can produce potentially all of the current and provide all the voltage required for the circuit. Although batteries are subject to a drawdown in current, in other words, if the circuit demands too much current, the battery may not be able to fulfill that demand. But it's approximated to do so. But we can have voltage sources or current sources that are independent and provide all the current and voltage required by the circuit. If so, we draw little circles around them. Now when we have a plus or minus, that means the same thing as if we had a little squiggly line like a little sine wave. This means time dependent or time varying. When we have a time varying source, we can either put a plus minus in there, meaning that it goes, it changes direction, it's an AC current, sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's negative, it switches around, just like a sine wave like that. If we have an error like this, that means that it's a current supplier. It will produce all the current the circuit will require, and it will do so independently of any source. So whatever current the circuit requires, it will provide so. If we draw a little diamond around it like that, this can still be a time-varying source. Same like here, it can still be a current source, but if we draw a little diamond around it, then it's, an in the, then it's a dependent source, meaning the voltage supplied or the current supplied depends upon some other source. This is controlled by another source, so therefore this produces a voltage, a time-varying voltage, or a current, could be a time-varying current, due to the presence of another source or due to the control of another source. Those are the different kinds of active elements to be separated from what we call passive elements. Remember, these don't produce any energy. Again, an active element is something capable of providing a voltage or a current, which means it can put energy into the circuit. Hopefully, that clears things up. And so when you see these acronyms or when you see these kind of symbols, now you know what they mean and now you know how to deal with them. That's how we do it in electrical engineering.